right, guys. Uh, sorry for my absence. I've been gone for a couple weeks. Uh, we've been working. It's just that we were doing uh, pretty much the same thing. If you've been watching any of my videos, we're still on the subdivision build, and we're building our uh, road up to grade through the subdivision now with clay and stuff. And I just hasn't. I haven't really been filming it because where it's just the same thing over and over again. I didn't figure you guys would really care about that. So I'm going to start tuning in just from time being, just to show you progress. Um, and how we're what we're doing on the daily and if something different comes up then i'll start you know kind of taking footage of that just to kind of show you what's going on today uh we're hauling out some of our uh, undercut material and just hauling it back there to the back uh, a lot of this is the undercut material some of it's topsoil so but he's back in uh, well he turns around up there then backs up to me hope I can reach him from this point. It's kind of far away. But yeah, I've got him. But anyways, we're hauling this material out to kind of make way. There's actually a cul-de-sac that goes right here in this particular area that uh, we're at. So I need to get all of that set up. We got some of our water line delivered. Uh, there's hydrants and things like that going into this development. Um, a lot of that is going down the edges of these roads right here. So I need to kind of have, uh, it, it'd just be better if I had all this stuff kind of out of the way. So anything that's really close to the road, um, we're kind of getting it out of the way. Uh, we've already took through the center section right over here to the left here. That was the section that was in the woods. We've already gotten most of that off the sides of the road through there. Um, just to mainly just let it, to let it drain a little better. And uh, everything start to dry out, which our weather is kind of changing around now. So it's starting to heat up a little bit. So that's going to be like a huge game changer for us about as far as the progress and stuff. Like say we were supposed to be gone probably two months ago from here. Uh, it's just that uh, weather here in Tennessee just does not cooperate with uh, dirt work and compacting, especially if you're building a road through a swamp. So there's, I mean, there's water coming out on top of the ground here in places on hills so it's just kind of like been a struggle working with it and uh, you if you'll go back in some of our older videos uh, you'll see where we were hauling rock and stuff like that and uh, we're hoping if the quarry can get rock out to us tomorrow we've got one more section at the very back that crosses a wetlands area that uh, is just unsuitable to put clay in to build up so we're going to have some more of that dirty shot rock brought into that I hadn't heard back from them yet so it may not be tomorrow uh, we're supposed to get some more rain, uh, I think, tomorrow night and Thursday, Wednesday and Thursday of this week. And then it looks like next week, though, is going to be all sunny and in the 70s and 80s. So we should uh, be able to make some pretty good leaps and bounds with our progress next week. So we're looking forward to it. But I would say if we had good weather straight out from here out, we would be done in probably a month. Uh, we've got most of the, I would say probably about 80% of the road is built up to where it needs to be per the plan as far as grade. Um, the crossing areas, which is where those all those tiles are straight across from me that you see in that field over there, that's where those go is in these crossings. Uh, there's four crossings that cross little creeks or little drainage areas. That's where all of those go. Uh, I've got to put all those in, which those will go really fast whenever we start doing it. Uh, we have two retention ponds left to finish, and then ditches, and then we are out of here. So, I'm hoping to have a little surprise. It might be in the next few weeks, but I might have a little surprise coming that I'm pretty excited about. So you guys will have to stay tuned and see whether it happens or whether it don't. I'm not going to let the cat out of the bag about what it is, but uh, I've been wanting one of these for a long time. And it's going to really help me here on this particular project as well as we, uh, well as a lot of other ones we do. A lot of the other kind of things that we do besides developments like this, um, it, it'd be a real useful tool for that. So.
But anyways, I just wanted to tune in and let you guys know uh, where I've been, what we're doing. Um, say we're getting with it. It's just I haven't recorded it because I just I just don't want to burn you guys out on the same thing over and over again. And uh, yeah, and most of the time, you know, I was in the 18 years that we've been doing this. It's it's always been something different all the time like we might be clearing you know one week or building a pond one week or whatever but these particular jobs right here kind of tie us up and generally we work uh at one or two locations at the same time well we've got everyone pulled into the same location because we're all trying to knock this out as quick as quickly as we can so it's kind of like we've just kind of been stuck here in purgatory with the weather and stuff like that and uh, their time frames are pretty aggressive here, so uh, we really don't have the means to um, pull out of here and go do other jobs that we have lined up just be because they're kind of kind of on our butt about it, you know, about, about getting out here and getting done. But we, we do have some good things in the mix coming for this year, this season of uh, dirt work for us. We're looking forward to it, and I can't wait to, to um, film it and show everybody – uh, some other things that we do other than working in swamps and working with terrible conditions. We actually do work with dry dirt sometimes and I can't wait till we get back to it to be honest with you. But but anyways, I just wanted to pop in here and say hello and uh, sorry for the absence, but I will try to do some more videos of things uh, that are interesting and I'll try to maybe get you, maybe today I might kind of show you what we're looking like on this road. As you can tell, the, I don't know if you follow the videos or not, but if you see that was all uh, rock built to subgrade all the way through there. And now we're starting to get all of our road built with clay. Uh, and it's got to go all the way, uh, it's got to be built up all the way almost between those two houses like right there. And then all the way out this way, there's probably another 2,000 feet of road that way. And we have it pretty much built to grade other than these creek crossings for about well, 1500 more feet so so uh, of course we've got to cut all of our banks back put ditches in stuff like that and then the final five six hundred feet or whoa well, or so we've got to uh, kind of build that up still but but anyways I'll tune back in and kind of give you some more stuff to to kind of look at uh, along the way and uh, see what you guys think As you can tell we're getting everything built up to grade of course down here in the creek it's got to be built up a little bit more but uh, thought I'd give you a little walk through I'm not gonna walk the whole road or anything like that but you can see we still got to build up a little bit more up through there of course we got to cut all of our ditches we got to haul all this dirt still out and everything uh, Matt's running the haul truck up and down on it we had our parking brake hang on it and got it hot and we had to repair that make sure it's releasing now but as you can see we have went a pretty long way most of the stuff out there where he's at in the center is is up to grade where we need to be uh, just a few sections that we need to fill in one of them is right here it's probably still got to come up two or three feet or so right here and then down there at the creek probably about five feet but it's just in a, it's just in a small area so but we're going to be getting some clay from the very back side back there now. And so we're going to have to travel the whole road. Uh, so we got some uh, rock coming in tomorrow and get that last crossing built up. That way we can get to the very back of the property so we can haul our dirt. So this whole time we've been here, this is actually where at the point we needed to be to actually build the road is just to get across, just get across the place. There's only one way in and one way out of this. Uh, site and we can't travel down the sides just because the the material the, there's like two feet of unsuitable soils and we if we even try to drive the haul truck on it it just it just buries up plus they don't want us disturbing anything on the sides because they've still got septic um, permits they've got to get stuff like that we you know we don't need to disturb the ground so we're kind of limited to right here in this road roadway really about a 50 foot section is what we're supposed to stay in other than the clearing we had to do in the ponds. But I will 
tune back in and we'll try to do some filming. Uh, I might try to catch some of the rock trucks coming tomorrow and uh, just give you a little bit more of uh, what we're going to do after that point, which is going to be the same thing. We're going to be building the road up. Uh, at, at one point, we're going to be uh, digging ditches and cutting the banks back and stuff like that, and I'll definitely get a lot of that on film for you guys. Um, if you like what you're seeing, what, like I say, I've, I've been going for two weeks, but if you want to see more, like and subscribe, comment down below. I'll be happy to tell you whatever, um, but just tune in. Thanks.